I'm going to do a video on the 8-bit HD video game system by Gamers Tech. Now I've got several of these uh, regular AV versions of this and they're they're a great system um, and they're really reasonably priced so I'm gonna see what this one does how it looks hooked up through HDMI on my Westinghouse uh, 32 inch HD TV and I'm gonna try out this 143 and one Super Games NES cartridge. I bought this cartridge on Amazon, and it was uh, I don't know. I think it was like between 25 and 30 dollars, but I mean it seems to be well made good quality and I had a I had the red version of this that I got from uh, AliExpress and had good results out of it so I'll just have to see but uh now let me get a knife and open up the uh, gamer stick What it looks like. These, now the 8-bit version of this, or the regular AV version, I should say. This 8-bit, same thing. This just has HDMI out. But it is, uh, his controllers and everything are just, which is, is the same controllers as far as I can tell. But they are just... I like them better than the original NES controllers, and I never thought I would be saying that because I love the original NES controllers, but these just have such a good feel. But here's the system. Looks just like the standard one, except you've got your uh, HDMI output, and you come it comes with your paper, like the others tell how the life of these pins is by keeping your games clean. If you put a dirty game in here, it's too tight. Uh, and it just messes the pins. I've read messes the pins up, but you can see this has got the option for HDMI. And it comes with the HDMI cable, which is great. Um, comes with your uh, wall adapter. Which, surprisingly, I think the wall adapter is different than the one that the, um, I'm not so sure. I think it's different than the one the regular um, AV version comes with. And it comes with your AV cables. And actually, I, I do like the look of these controllers better. Um because they they got more of that NES color scheme going on to me they got the red buttons they're concave just like the NES um, all the the main difference in the controller is the start and select buttons are round but they're still that rubbery type material just like the regular NES controller you know it comes with two of those and I mean heck I'm gonna go grab the a standard uh, gamer tech and show you the difference here. The power adapter is indeed different on the. Uh, it's got a heavier power adapter the uh, the regular AV one. Actually, it feels like a little better quality. It's six volt output, 200 milliamp versus. Uh, this one with the HDMI, boy, it's harder to read. It's uh, 7.5 volt, and 0.5 amp. So it's um, it's got more. Um, even though this power supply was the standard 8-bit 
or not 8-bit, but AV1, see it don't have no HDMI output. Even it is, I don't know why, but the AV or the power cable is much, much heavier, but it's a lower voltage. So, uh, I don't know. And like I said, the controller, the controller is like this color on these, but everything else looks, feels the same. Which that's fine. Now here's the, uh, take the plastic off of this one where you can see what the other one looks like out of the plastic. And here's the one that comes with the HDMI one. Um, to me, I mean they both look good, but I like the black one better. That's the one thing I like better about the HD one, or HDMI one. Uh, the consoles are actually a different color as well. Not only do you get the, uh, you know, the uh, HDMI out on this one, but the color, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Well, actually... not so sure I think the color is a little bit different but it's close but at the, the HD one is marked HD on here and this one's got the cool red 8-bit entertainment system I actually like the logo on the standard one better but as I said that doesn't really matter it's all gonna come down to how it plays the game and as I said, this 143 in one, I did try the 143 in the regular 8 bit one, the red copy, and it, they do go in tight. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave this game in this system, I think, if I keep it. Well, that one went in looser, so maybe there isn't any reason to leave it now. I just don't want to tear the contacts up. But I'm gonna get it hooked up here and see what it looks like okay here it is in in a regular AV app but HDMI just looks way way better let's see now look at Mario there in the pipe question mark um, that now I'll show you HDMI now here's HDMI I don't know how it shows up on here but it's just it's a world of difference pause it I mean it just looks a whole lot cleaner everything uh, not surprisingly the camera's showing artifacts that's not there all these little wavy lines and stuff that gives you a general idea of what the HDMI on the system looks like. 8-bit HD, I just, I recommend it highly. It does not output audio, I mean composite video and audio at, at the same time as uh, HDMI. So you, you, know, you can't hook up those two there, Why? which I don't know why anyone would want to have it running on both two things at once anyway but HDMI it just looks I mean it looks really good good old Adventure Island it's probably hard for you to see it with the glare but hit reset and go back and see what else is on here
But anyway, yeah, I can I can recommend this system so far. I think I might hook it up to this big 47 inch TV if I've got an extra HDMI slot. Um, might be fun to play on there, but yeah, the, it just looks so crisp and clear. I mean, it's just a great, great having an NES with 720p capability. Right, I got it hooked up to my 47 inch TV. Got it paused on Super Mario. And I'm just telling you, it, it looks amazing. There, I just, I don't know, 720p on these just really spoils you. I, I have to say the H, bit HD, I mean, it's, it's just a great, um, I think it's a great investment actually. You know, and I've got the older stuff here custom made consoles, Nintendo's and everything, but I mean, I don't know, it just looks so good on the big TV.